Hey everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome along for another stream here at SES Software. How are you all doing today? It's great to see you all. Welcome back and uh, great to see so many familiar names in the chat. Uh, we're joined by a very special guest today in the studio and that's weird to say for our special guest, to say actually in the studio, coming to you live from Prague in the Czech Republic. Oscar, it's great to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, nice to be here, finally. Uh, it's been quite a long time, I think. The last time I did a stream here, probably 2020 or 2019. Well, back in the studio, yeah. I yeah, think you're right. I think studio. it's been a little wild. <laughs> it's been a little while. Of course, we've had you on for numerous streams in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, but for you to actually be coming to us live uh, from the offices, uh, it must be a bit weird for you as well, right? Yeah, it's, it's all different now. I mean, you've got a different room. You've got a different setup. You've got a bigger <laughs> table, a longer table. I guess you can yeah. fit like, what, three people here? Not only that, we have multiple camera angles. Do we still have them, Philip? We can we can switch the camera angles, right? We, <laughs> we now have three different camera angles. I think oh, wow. we can we can go up to. There's like one on your side, and then there's one right. behind the scenes as well. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like you know a full TV production. Then this is a, this is it. We're, we're professionals now. We we've, we've been moving up in the world. We got partnered mm -hmm. on Twitch and everything. You know, it's it's massive. So it's good stuff. But... Where's my auto cue? <laughs> so you need the script next. That's yeah, I need, need a script, you know. <laughs> yeah, I need an AI generated script, you know, that I can it's... read off of. Exactly, exactly. Well, it's great to have you uh, with us for a, uh, well, meet the team stream for those who have never been to one of these before is where we have a member of our team come on. We talk to them more about how they got to SCS software, what they do, their daily routines and a little bit more about their lives as well. And uh, Oscar, maybe for those who don't know you, maybe are tuning in for the very first time, uh, maybe you could uh, introduce yourself a little bit and what you do at SCS Software. So I'm the industry partnerships manager at SCS Software. It's a very boring title, I would say. So what I do, <laughs> I talk to third party companies. So licensing, uh, any co-promotions, uh, boring legal stuff. That's that's what I do, and hopefully I get more licenses. You know, we can, you know, create more products, more exciting, you know, partnerships that you know we can bring into the game and make it more exciting. Well, you know, you may say that it's a, a little bit boring with all the jargon and stuff that goes on with it, but to some people, it's actually very, very interesting. Right? There's a lot of people who think you do some really cool work behind the scenes and it must be a little bit of fun kind of talking to all those different companies right oh yeah absolutely i i, I really you know love b building relationships with them you know every company is different so uh you've got the companies that are very professional they are very serious and strict about everything you know we have to follow a lot of rules and then we have very cool companies who you know obviously they they know our audience they know how gamers are they tailor it to them so it's it's quite interesting we have different approaches and uh we work with all these people and yeah basically trying to bring more fun into the game it's it's always awesome talking to everyone that's really cool well we'll get more into that a little bit later on uh first of all though i mean we got quite a big task today because you might notice it's just me and oscar uh, in the studio today we usually just have we have three of us so uh, but Oscar's kind of taking the reins at the offices today. You're talking, being interviewed, and driving, and yeah. you've got a Western star here. Is this your mm -hmm. is this your truck of preference? Is this your choice? Well, it's the newest truck. I always like new stuff, and True. it looks great. You know, um, we work very closely with Western Star. I I, mm. I really appreciate our you know our uh, relationship with them and. You know, the 57X release was just, you know, another one of those, you know, examples of a great working relationship. We're very proud to have them be so interested in the game. You know, years ago, many years ago, it was, you know, always difficult to get people excited about a truck simulator. But now, mm. nowadays, like, everyone is clamoring for attention. Everyone's like, can we be in your game? It's, it's really good, you know, it's really great. And then, of course, the community stands to benefit from this as well, you know, new truck. On, on, on the day of release, you know, you can't beat that, right? So, you know, this is an awesome truck, you know. Um, it looks it looks tough, it looks cool, you know, the interior is modern. And I guess this was spec'd out by Nemiro, it was all black, you know. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he really likes this look. I, I love this truck as well, <laughs> you know. Um, it, I, I love every, every truck in the game, um, but I like the new, one, new ones more. 
Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I love a bit of the tech. I love the new gen stuff as well. Uh, and I just noticed, I don't know if you did this or if it was Nemo, but the front of the license plate says out of time, which is a nice little reference to ah. a, a Back to the Future movie, right? I, mean, I like That's that. Cool. I like that. And it's maybe, very, very cool. Right. Maybe I should go 88 miles per hour then. <laughs> the whole stream. See what happens. Mm, maybe maybe a mistake mm. happens. Or something. But let's get you on the road then. Okay. Uh, where, do, where, where do you want to head to? Where are we right now? I don't know. Let me have a look where I am. Yeah. I think, should I get the map out? <laughs> Do, do people usually do that on streams? Uh, yeah, if we're on yeah. the right version of the game, I <laughs> hope so. This hmm. could be... Uh... Does this have Texas? Hmm, I... hmm. let's see. Ah. Uh... No, no, not yet. Oh, wait, <laughs> there saying. is Texas. Look at that. Oh, no, no, hey, get that reveal <laughs> out of here. Hey, 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 that's a, that's a teaser. <laughs> hey, everyone, that's that's Texas. Oh, no. That's 0.001% no, We've already, we've already ruined the map reveal for Texas, ladies and gents. That's the whole thing right there. Okay, oh, so no. I guess we're at Thompson Falls. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Where can we go? Hmm. Where would you like to head? That's the real, let's, that let's, is a long job. Yeah, let's try to stay somewhere in in Montana. Uh, there it. Oh, how do you pronounce this? <laughs> it's a great question. Um, is it Butte or is it you know? I would let you know, but I actually can't even see the word myself oh, because my own face is blocking it. <laughs> it's B U T T E. Butte. I I I would assume it's Butte. I would okay. assume it's that. Yes. Okay. Let's go Butte. It's quite a Oscar short. Dickinson, it is yeah. quite a short jo job, so you know. Sounds good. We can good. do Sounds another good. one later. Exactly. Yeah. If we if we have enough time, you can always grab another. And of course, people might not remember, but the amount of times we've mentioned Oscar's legendary parking on stream. Oh no. Will he still live up to the challenge? <laughs> Would you say you're still up to spec with the parking, well, or has it been a little while well, since you're behind the wheel? It's been a little while, but as it... <laughs> it it has it has. I mean, uh, I don't play it so often now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when you're busy with work you, and, and other things, you, you, you don't get the opportunity to play so much anymore. It's a good excuse, Oscar. Mm -hmm. I like it. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the bar is still raised. It's still up there. So it's, it's we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. Now you're on the road. Uh, well, instead of diving into kind of the, the middle of what we have planned for a question, let's, let's start it from, from the beginning. Uh, Oscar, you've been with the company now for quite a few years, right? Yes, I have. have. Um, how long, how how long, long would you say? Um, That's a question. Per, per, per. When did I come? 2018, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, think, up on... I think it was July of 2018. So it must be five years. It's been more than five wow. years. Wow, more than five years. That's quite the milestone. Well, congratulations on that milestone. Uh, I didn't but we're gonna know. <laughs> we're going to take it back even further and actually go really kind of before SES software, we're kind of interested to know, mm -hmm. um, you know, where it all kind of began for you. What were, what were you doing like kind of back in school? Did you study for anything specific? Were you kind of hoping to kind of get into this industry? Or were you, you know, going for something completely different? Where did it all start for you? Yeah, so I studied business in the university. So I wanted to go into banking. Um, you know, mm -hmm. my, my father used to work in a bank, so you know, it, it, it looks interesting, it, it pays well, so mm. <laughs> it's very easy to decide <laughs> that I wanted to uh, wanted to get into banking, but then it, I mean, this opportunity came up and it was kind of too good to resist, really. It's, it's, mm. it, it's my first job, it still is my first job, so, you know, <laughs> to have your first job overseas, that's, that's really something kind of exciting and new. Um, I was up for the challenge and, you know, I wanted to see the world a little bit. So, mm. so that's kind of what I decided, you know, just, I mean, I could always go home if it didn't work out. Right. So, right. uh, <laughs> first job, you know, YOLO, I guess, <laughs> just, just, try yeah. it out. Uh, so, so that's how I came into you know, working at SES. Um, that was 2018. Uh, and yeah, it's been a good experience so far. I, I love it here, and it seems like uh, people do appreciate the, the work that I do, and I, I, I like that. And, you know, it's a cool environment to be in. They're making games, and I've been playing trucking games for a very long time, um, mm. much earlier than I've been, that I've been employed here. So uh, I guess that's how we segue into that. <laughs> 
I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> I was actually going to bring it up because mm -hmm. I was going to say, this is not your first rodeo in truck simulators, no, no. is it? <laughs> so, so I think it started off when, um, when my mom bought me a copy of uh, 18 Wheels of Steel Holland. I think that was it. Ooh. I don't remember when that was, 2003 maybe. So that's my first foray into like trucking games. Uh, so, so that's really, I, I, I thought it was quite fun. I, I like driving, I like cars in general. So, you know, driving something big is always, it's always a kid's kind of dream, one would say. So that game really interested uh, me and I, I kept following the series and I think uh, when Euro Truck Simulator 2 was uh, about to launch, I, I, I only really followed uh, SCS when ETS 2 came out. Before that, right, I was, okay. before that, I was occasionally playing ETS, but uh, not that much. But then I saw you know, ETS 2 was coming out and I was quite interested. Uh, I was looking at the blogs for, for updates of how it was going, what sort of things, um, new features compared to ETS there were. So I got quite interested and also I had some little like, you know, wish list requests that I had. So, <laughs> you know, back in the days when Pavel had his email <laughs> online, so I kind of wrote to him. Uh, and gave feedback. So that's kind of when I uh, got invited to join as a beta tester. So uh, that was, I think, I think 2012, like mm. like three months before ETS2 came out. So it was like 10 years ago or yeah, 11 was, years actually. That was <laughs> a long, long time ago. And um, yeah, so it started from there. I was a beta tester for a while. And then, you know, they had this senior beta tester thing. Um, then, then I went to university and then, you know, I was still writing to Pavel occasionally, you know, just talking about the games. He, he would be very nice, you know, he, 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 he's like <laughs> replying to fan mails to just, you know, people playing the game with suggestions and stuff. So I kind of asked him, you know, you have a job opening or something? Then, you know, he was like, send me a resume. Uh, so I sent him one and then he, Mm -hmm. You know, he was interested, and that's, you know, that's how I got an offer for, to work for SCS. Uh, I came over to Prague to kind of, you know, have a look at the offices, uh, at how you know interested I would be at, at at working here, at moving here. You know, it's a big decision. You know, it's as, huge. Yeah. yeah. So, so I found it to be quite an interesting opportunity, and you know, I took took him out on it and and came over. Yeah. I mean, you make it sound so simple, but <laughs> from moving from one side of the mm -hmm. world to the other, essentially, uh, that must have been uh, quite a challenge and probably took a, a little while. I mean, how long in, was it a few months before you were able to get over to Prague from, from Singapore? Or? Well, the, the difficult thing was in, you know, in physically moving here, it was more of finding somewhere to live. Uh, mm -hmm getting my work employment permit or something uh, done. It's actually not that easy in, in Czech Republic. <laughs> For not. some reason, I had to go to a Czech embassy and you know, you don't have an embassy in the country you're in, right? So they have no Czech embassies here in Czech Republic. So I had to go to Berlin to, to go to an <laughs> embassy and get my documents sorted and, and, and things like that. Uh, so yeah, it took a while, and then you know after everything was approved, I had to look for an apartment. Um, then you know I moved here with three suitcases, um, <laughs> with everything I owned basically, um, mm. and that's that. And then started here. And uh, well, I mean that's not all though, because um, some people might know you as well for. Uh, some of the, the mods you might have uh, mm -hmm. published in the past on, on Steam Workshop, maybe uh, under a different username, uh, even on the forms originally. Mm -hmm. You went by, um, oh, what was it? Was it NFSH, yeah. Need for Speed? Or yeah, was it, it was yeah. Need for Speed. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Everyone knows that, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you giving me uh... enough space? I can't see. <laughs> you know, we shouldn't have started a job at night. I can't see anything. Yeah, it's very hard, yeah. Especially hey, with the studio lights. Yeah, it's giving me space. Go. Since take, when do we have that? Take the opportunity while you can. 
Since when did we <laughs> add that feature? Since when was there polite drivers in the game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so some of you uh, might know you for your mods and you're creating all sorts of different little mods, but mainly kind of like enhancing kind of the, the dashboard and other little details like that. Mm -hmm. what, what got you started on that? Was that because of out of your passion on trying to help improve yeah. the game? So, or? you know, everyone, once they play a truck simulator for quite some time, you know, they try to make it more realistic. Um, they try to add things to it to make it seem more real uh, as compared to real life. So, you know, you enhance the experience uh, that you're getting so it's not just a game you know it's mm. like an escape from reality but in in a way it's still reality so back then i thought you know there are some aspects that needed improving that can be improved uh through especially in in the interior which was the dashboard mods that i kind of did um yeah so that's where i started it started out as you know a personal project for myself uh, just to make the game a little bit more enjoyable. Um, mm. But then I thought, you know, why not just share it? You know, the Steam Workshop just came out back then. And then, you know, it's just cool to share it. And then it became kind of an obsession, I would say. You know, <laughs> I, I usually just stick to one truck uh, and not really jump between them. But then I, I thought, you know, why the heck not? And, you know, just did it for more than one truck, you know, one by one. And then most of it was covered, you know, a, a, as much as I could do. And, you know, till this day, I, I don't know, it's kind of unofficially my job now to do the dashboards on, <laughs> on new trucks. So, you know, this one you're looking at, yeah, that's, that's, that's mostly my work. That, that involved a lot of Photoshopping. <laughs> um, I'm not very good at Photoshop, so it probably takes someone else like 20 minutes to do it. But it took me like days to to do it you know the little dots on the background image yep. i place them manually so <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> yeah so that took forever and chat you don't know the love and time that has gone into these dashboards <laughs> it's incredible yeah, yeah so I, i'm i'm happy that you know we we've we've really increased the resolution on on these dashboards so uh now you can really see the detail in the past there was some kind of hard-coded pixel limit uh, and that wasn't really that great especially you know when we when we arrive in this era of you know digital screens everywhere mm, so mm. I, I think you can see the improvement uh, from the newer from the from the Cascadia that was the first one to to really get it uh, and then on the DAF as well so so you know that's that's the trend nowadays I, I like it um, yeah, it's it's pretty and it's actually more you know more interesting to create um, and the, you know it's an, an interesting process. Yeah, that's all I have to say. It's <laughs> it's a very uh, arduous process. Um, mm. It it takes weeks to do it, and then you know there's feedback uh, about how legible it is. So you know not everything is one to one. Um, you know, I try to do it as close as possible, but mm -hmm. then, you know, some of the fonts are too tiny on, on certain screens. Like if you play on a laptop, it's basically impossible to read. So, you know, I have to make it a little bit bigger. Um, I have to optimize it, basically. And mm -hmm. then, you know, there, there are people telling me that I have to change it and then I have to do it. Right. I, I was going to say, it must be quite tedious because you've got to find that balance between you know, you want it to be realistic, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it also needs to work for the player mm -hmm. because I imagine the truck can have so many more little details that maybe wouldn't be able to be included in a dashboard yeah. because players wouldn't be able to see it or maybe we're not able to process that sort of information yet uh, on the dashboards. But it seems like there's always something new coming, always something in the works and that you're pushing more and more the boundaries of, of the dashboards, which is really great to see. Um, when you cycle through the pages of, of information mm -hmm. and such like that. And yeah, honestly, I, I love the digital dashboards myself as well. I know some people are more of analog fans. I mm -hmm. like the, the tech myself. So it's, it's really great to see. Oh, and, uh, and, and you mentioned different pages. I think a lot of people don't actually know that there are different pages on the dashboard. <laughs> so, right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, so it, go to your settings. There's, that's a key for it. I think dashboard mode or something. Use mm -hmm. that. <laughs> you get more information. It's, <laughs> I spent too much time on that, so go look at that. 
make sure you utilize that chat spread the word out let everybody know that you know go check it out you can you can add more pages and, and check them out as well which is really cool to see but of course that's not really the only thing that you do at SCS there's a lot more to your job as you explained a little bit as an industry partnerships mm -hmm. manager and I kind of want to get inside your day-to-day -day, you know uh kind of tasks I imagine every single day is different to you what is a normal working day in the life of Oscar what does what do you do when you first wake up it must be a bit difficult I imagine with the the time zones right because most of the time people might not know you're working from Singapore remotely, but mm -hmm. you could be traveling like you are now in Prague. Yeah, so obviously Singapore is usually six hours ahead or seven hours ahead of, of Prague. So basically in the mornings for me, it's it's quite free. Uh, so what mm -hmm. I do is emails usually because my whole job is talking to people from from third party companies, so not within SES. So uh, I'll talk to people from the U.S. Usually, they they'll send emails to me and mm -hmm. uh, during their working day, and by then it will be morning for me, so that's perfect. I get their emails then, so that's what I deal with. And then in the afternoon, uh, my colleagues, our colleagues in Prague, start waking up and going to work, so that's when I when I talk to them. And then in the evening, in my time like 8, 9 p.m. sometimes, you know, uh, uh, Namiro <laughs> will text me, you might text me, <laughs> different people will text me. So, you know, uh, my work kind of, it's spread out throughout the day, you know. Um, it's good. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's, um, yeah, I get to talk to a lot of people, I, and I like that, you know. I, and, I, mm -hmm. and I get to make business trips. I love having business trips. It's... It's just so interesting, you know, seeing the world, uh, meeting different people. Um, you know, um, like during the last trip I went to the U.S., I visited like 12 states in, in two weeks. <laughs> that's wild, and isn't that's it? Wild. That's wild. That's, that's a bit too much, I think, you know. <laughs> but, but it's cool, you know. You, you don't get an opportunity. You know, as a tourist, you wouldn't really like maybe drive through West Virginia or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, you might not go to places like Maryland, uh, that kind of thing. So it was interesting seeing like the rural U.S. in some parts and not just, you know, New York or whatever. So, so mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of fun. And visiting the, the facilities of, of our partners, that was cool. You know, having seeing them test the trucks, seeing them abuse the trucks, really. <laughs> you know, I was in a, an international LT and they brought it onto an off-road track. So, wow, oh, it, was, wow. <laughs> it was insane. It was so really? fun. It was... I must have been quite a test for the suspension and the ruggedness <laughs> of the truck as well. It was insane. I was being bounced around on, on the bed behind. <laughs> I mean, you know, the seat had suspension, not the bed. So the bed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was an interesting experience. It was it was so fun for me. Um, I mean, it was hard work for our sound guy, but I was really course, just there yeah. to you know have a chat and you know catch up with people, talk about our games, because it's it's still quite interesting to me um, that not a lot of people know about our games, even if they work in an industry and. Mm -hmm. You know, once they learn about it, then they're, they're, they are always saying, wow, this is such a great, uh, let's say, driver training tool or mm. uh, marketing tool for, for some of them. And, you know, a lot of them have been saying they can even use this for engineering, you know, just you know, ergonomics, things like that. They could design it virtually, put it in the game, have a drive around in, in the game map, that kind of thing. And it helps them um, to, to kind of do some initial uh, testing at the prototype phase. Um, mm. I'm surprised, you know, to hear things like that. I thought, you know, it's a, just a game. Maybe it's not just a game. Uh, maybe it's an interesting tool for some of them that they can actually use. Um, yeah, especially, you know, marketing. That's, that's obvious, right? Remember what we did with DAF? That, that was yeah. big. I think that was big. And a lot of companies have seen that. And now they're like, can we do that as well? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so they see one, it happened one time, and then everyone else wants to yeah. do it. Everyone kind of wants that same thing, which is fantastic, uh, you know, for us as well, of course. And we love to have such a range of, of brands and opportunities in, in that sense. And I was going to go back a little bit because you're mentioning about being in the back of a truck bouncing around um you know on an off-road 
uh, part of their track there. And um, I don't know how much, I don't remember really how much involved, but I remember when I f- was quite early on in the company, we were both still working at the offices. You also had a little bit of hand in helping with the physics of the trucks when they're receiving their updates back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, and I imagine still today, you know, you're quite important for relaying information that you've learned from your your visits and such back to our teams uh, here in the park and the SES offices, right? Well, I don't do that much of that anymore. I think um, there are people who are better, <laughs> better <laughs> informed at that. And you know, we've we've had a, we've got a setup that a lot of people are happy with. I can't mm. really see here, so that's the problem. <laughs> hey, no I, pressure. The king of parking is back. No pressure. I can't see anything. <laughs> well, I think we meet, need, need more lights, like <laughs> at these depots. Kind of. I mean, it's either that, but also it doesn't help when you're in a studio with about all yeah. eight different bright LED lights I that have, are shining off the screen. I have multiple spotlights on me, so you know I'm actually I looking think, at a TV that's off screen because that's that what has, that's exactly what Nimuro does. That that's has like, better he, contrast. Like uh, it has better contrast. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm not usually this bad at parking, guys. Trust me. He wants you to believe. Trust me. Trust me. I mean, I've seen. I'll do it in the day. I'll do it in the day, and it'll be much better. I really can't see anything. He's done double parking before, which is impressive. So, I mean, I don't doubt it. Even now. This is not blindsiding it, I guess. I guess, yeah, that's true. Oh my god, I can't. Uh, (laughs) I can't. He's, he has it. Oh, oh no, what did I do? What did I do? Was it, what did I was do? It a little bump. Yeah, I think I hit it. Oh no. Oh well, that that happens at truck stops. <laughs> Very often. He's seen it. I've seen, He's seen it. Eh, yeah, I've seen damages at truck stops before. <laughs> I mean, it was fine. I don't think I actually hit that. It was something else. Maybe. Oh, here we yeah, go. it wasn't. Was it the truck? It's not the truck. There's. <laughs> I can't tell from here. I can't tell I can't, from here. I can't see. Help. Help, guys. <laughs> it's a bad combination, chat, of studio can I, lights. Can I cheat and use the exterior camera? Chat, can you cheat? Can I cheat? Chat. What is everyone saying? Well, I'll let you know. Once Once the delay hits, someone said no cheating. Yes, no, what am I, no. What am I touching? Just hit enter. It's not che- cheating. Yes, yes, no. Oh, it's kind of kind of torn. Cheat, yes, sure. No, no cheat. <laughs> it's funny because Nimo and Darius cheat all the time on stream. And now you're denying Oscar. I say you can cheat. You can cheat if you want to. If you're finding it really hard for the night time because of the studio lights and everything, I think it's I'm okay. sweating, man. <laughs> Why are the lights <laughs> here so hard? Aren't they LEDs? I, I, think so. I think there's a mix. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> I can't. Is it physically impossible to get it into this spot? <laughs> Surely not. Okay, I'm just gonna use the exterior camera and have a look. There we go. What What are you oh hitting back here? Is it the forklift? It yeah, it probably is. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. Yep, I'm terrible <laughs> at this, guys. The enter button is not cheating. Okay, I'm just, just gonna, saying. I'm just gonna do it from here. You got it. Okay. This is it's the... sticking to the forklift. Yeah. This is the it worst angle. That way. You got this. Let's get some positive messages in the chat for Oscar. <laughs> Help. He's, he's trying his best. I'm trying. Yeah. Oh, man. This monitor isn't that great. <laughs> I'm blaming the monitor now. <laughs> if something is stopping you, just give him more gas. That is great life advice. <laughs> Don't follow that advice, Jack. No. That's terrible advice. <laughs> I mean, you do see some videos of... Like people in real life doing that when parking yeah. a truck. That's insane. <laughs> it never ends well. That's insane. Like, what do you think it's going to happen? Oh my goodness. Such a getting... tight spot here. Yeah, it's pretty tight, I think. It is very, very hard. Oh. The forklift should be in the building anyway, so that's where it should end up. <laughs> it's a good point. Who's left that forklift there? Why is it not in the right spot? <sighs> I think this truck oh, is no. too long. It's too long. <laughs> oh, it's oh, a, no. I mean, it's a 53 feet trailer, so. It is a long trailer. It is. Yeah, just maneuver a little bit, take it nice and easy. Yep. There you go. I'll park in the day to make up for this. 
There you go, see? He's got you, chat. Stick around. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> there oh we go. God, the done. game is giving you the grace of the green ding. There it is. That was embarrassing. Decoupled. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Oh my GG. god, my wife is watching. <laughs> that must be embarrassing. I'm yeah. sure she's seen better parking from you. Don't worry. It's Do okay. not worry. Right. Let's find you another job and let's let's continue I, chatting a little bit. Once I you think do. let's change it to daytime. I can't see anything. Yeah, sounds good. Oh. Why is my truck moving? Why is my truck moving? Okay. Handbrake, handbrake. Jeez, You're good. That time. <laughs> I always do this in the game. There you go. Watch out for the flashbang, oh. folks. Oh, oh. That, was a, that was a bright one. Yeah. Oh, grief. Let's try something. Where, where, where are we? Uh, Oh, that's Reckon that's too long. Nice, Is that too long? Is that got too a long? Nice couple of tankers there. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna reverse park this. <laughs> no, you won't be able to do that. Portland. Where do we want to go? Las Vegas. Oh, that's looks, that, of... that looks fine, I guess. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah, maybe double maybe not a double trailer. I mean, I can't park a double trailer. It's impossible with a with a dolly like that. Hmm. True. Let me just change the trailer. Yep, that's okay. a feature. <laughs> In case anyone doesn't know that. <laughs> Fun facts here with Oscar. Fun fact. Spilling the secrets of SCS often. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Well, now we're on the road. Um, you've been involved in a lot of projects since your time here at mm -hmm. SCS Software. Um, and usually at this point, we kind of ask people, um, you know, what you enjoy working on about these projects but when it comes to maps and such. But of course, when it comes to your job is a little bit different. So we kind of want to ask you, what, what have been some of your favorite projects you've been involved in so far? Because you've been involved in quite a few, right? I mean, if I answer that question, it's saying which partners we like best. <laughs> oh. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. I'm just yeah. saying, you know, which ones have you enjoyed a lot? You know, have you got any ones that are kind of like, this was a really fun one to do? Yeah. Sort of, sort of deal. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, working with Western Star and Freightliner, Awesome. Mm. You know, we get trucks on the same day. We get to go to truck shows with them. You know, that's 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 quite cool. And mm. maybe I can say that. Yeah, um, oh. we're going. Not we. I'm going to. <laughs> to it can be we. It can. I mean, you got to invite me. You can take it with you, Oscar. We can nah, say it's we. just me. I think it's just <laughs> me. Oh, okay, denied. Well, I'll denied be. I'll be. Uh. I'll be at an event in Houston, <laughs> Texas, in. Two, two months, I think, in October. Okay. Is it no October? No, it's in November with uh, Western Star. So mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have a motion simulator there. I think that's kind of cool. Nice. I think everyone knew we were kind of expecting to have that at <laughs> in Canada once, but, you know, that didn't work out. But anyway, we're going to have it um, in Texas. So... That's something to look forward to. I, I, I think it'll be exciting for me as well. I've never been to Texas. Mm -hmm. Another state checked off the list then. That'd be a lot of states. You need one of those maps where you can like scratch off mm -hmm. which states you've been to. Because I imagine you've hit up a lot now. So uh, I imagine you're quite excited for that uh, event. And of course, uh, visiting Texas as well. Do you think you'll have any time to kind of have a little look around Texas before you disappear uh, mm -hmm. back home or probably not that much oh. time but you know mm. i'll have a general idea of it <laughs> maybe gotcha, gotcha. or we can go there again if it's nice there um, you go yeah. that's true i was gonna say i mean darius and nimro just said texas dlc confirmed i mean you've just yeah. confirmed. <laughs> Did I? oscar's visiting texas Did texas I? dlc confirmed there you i go. mean <laughs> It is confirmed, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been confirmed we're for you. We're trolling you, don't hmm. worry. It's been confirmed for a long while. <laughs> hey, guys, Elite Texas. You, hear, you heard it here first. Texas. Elite Texas. Massive stream. Huge news. <laughs> Biggest news. But that's going to be very, very exciting. And I imagine that's a, such a, a really fun part of, of your job as well, is being able to travel around a little bit and um, being able to meet different partners in, in, in different countries and across Europe and, and across uh, America mm -hmm. as well. And um, yeah, I imagine though, traveling can get pretty exhausting, right? Oh I mean, yeah. It's... You've not long been off a flight, right? <laughs> no, I, I just got here uh, actually this morning at 12.30 a.m. <laughs> I, I checked early. in at 12.30. So 
yeah, traveling is a bit tiresome sometimes. You know, I, I spent mm. like 13 hours on the plane, and and then you know four more hours to get here to Prague. So wow. Yeah, it's a long journey. Um, Quite the journey. I think the 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 traveling part, the the journey part. You know, people say the the journey is what it counts, not the destination. M maybe not that true <laughs> when you're on a plane. You know, <laughs> you don't get to see anything really. Uh, so I mean, visiting the places, you know, just generally just driving through new places is it's it's mm. really fun. I think. Um, you you learn so much, you see so much that's different. You know, especially I'm. Um, uh, from Singapore, obviously everything is different, right? So right. it's a city state, everything's so urbanized. Like, I haven't seen a cow on a field, so, you know, oh, that, okay. that's new to me. <laughs> hey, a, a real cow, you know, that's that's just one of those things. That's really, really cool. Yeah, and, and actually yeah, I was... yeah, people will be like, you silly folk, but it's true, you know. <laughs> haven't seen a cow, haven't seen a goat, haven't seen... Um, tumbleweed, yeah, I, I still haven't seen that, so. Yeah, I mean, you don't think about those things, do you, really, for people who might not live in an area where they might experience that. I mean, it's like, with me, I haven't really seen or experienced deep, deep snow. Mm -hmm. Like, we get maybe, like, a couple of inches, a little, like, dusting, but, like, uh, I've always wanted to experience, like, really yeah. deep, deep snow, like, I'm, hardcore winters, you know. <laughs> I mean, like, for me, um, when when I was in, where was that, Toronto? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. in Toronto, right? Yeah, I drove through a snowstorm, so that's a new experience for me. It's, right. it's so awesome. Was it a scary one? Nah, it's fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's okay, not slipping around the road I mean, or anything it did like slip that. a bit, crazy. but that, that, that's what made it, made it fun, really. Right, exactly, yeah. And actually, uh, I did want to ask, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't think there's any like kind of secret meaning behind it or not, but... Um, what is actually your, your reason for the to visit to Prague? Have you got a, something you can share or is it just a general visit? Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, for your, your reason for your visit here to Prague? Well, I'm here mostly to catch up with people. You know, I do that mm -hmm. every few months when I can. But mainly I'm here for the IAA show at Hanover. That's, ah, I think that's happening okay. in two weeks. Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going there with uh, two partners, so that's kind of exciting for us. We'll have a motion sim uh, with uh, with Krona and with Just. I think we can say that. I think <laughs> so. Well, anyway, I just said it. I mean, I don't think it's a secret. Why should it be a secret? So anyway, we'll have a motion sim there. If anyone's going, you know, come say hi. Um, we don't have that many staff there this time, so you know, it's really with our partners there. Um, it's really like a showcase for their products and also to mm -hmm. celebrate the fact that you know we have them in the game so it's kind of interesting it's my first time being at the you know transport industry show so that will mm. be quite an eye opener as well i've heard it will be massive i've just looked at a number of halls that hanover Mesa has it's it's insane um so i think i'll be doing a lot of exercise uh, in my <laughs> shoes I was going to say, it kind of reminds me of the rem reminiscent days of uh, Gamescon, which is also in a pretty big yeah. uh, expo as well. I was on a walk-in, but uh, I mean, IAA transportation being, you know, the prestigious event, uh, you know, basically around the world to, to, to kind of show off uh, new technology and vehicles in the transportation sector. It's really quite an exciting uh, opportunity and one that I'm looking forward to hearing how it goes. Unfortunately, uh, I can't make it, but I'm sure we'll hear lots from your from yourself and uh, the others that will be uh, attending as well. And maybe uh, see some new and interesting trucks there, maybe mm -hmm. some things you haven't seen before as well. And maybe talk to some people that we haven't been able to meet with yet. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers uh, crossed. It all goes well. Yeah, hopefully it does. And I'm sure you yourself will be very, very busy uh, going around that event, um, talking with lots of different people. So definitely report back to us. We'll have to get a blog out or something about it for sure and yeah. kind of get some comments from you <laughs> yeah I, i'm sure i'm sure nemiro will have a lot <laughs> to blog about uh in, in the coming weeks absolutely absolutely um so i gotta ask uh, another question that we ask uh for a lot of our team that we interview is um what are some of the things that you've really enjoyed uh about working with scs okay, you know, what kind of makes them a, a unique company and one that you've enjoyed working with so for so many years 
I mean, in, in, when I was in Prague, I just, you know, I, I love the office. You know, I, I think everyone can say that. You can say that as well. It's, it's just such a great place to work in. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a fun place to work in. Uh, you know, you can tell that the management really cares about the staff here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what they say, it's like a, it's like a, a family, you would say. Maybe, maybe it's a bit difficult when when you have you know 250 people now but you know and it's growing, still yeah. it still feels very close everyone's really friendly with each other yeah it's just a great place to work in and you know every day you come to work you know that you're making a cool game you're mm -hmm. you're making something that a lot of people enjoy and you know people do appreciate it and you know we we, we always say we have the best community ever and we really do you know you look at the forums uh, you look at Facebook, anything, all our social media channels, you know, those positive comments, constructive criticism, it really, it really helps, you know, keep us going. And we love it, you know, internally, we always get these emails from time to time, right? You know, Pavel will, will forward some kind of uh, fan mail, some appreciation from some of our fans. Um, maybe they'll write to us and say, hey, I'm from this small town and, you created this small town in, in your map, and I really love it. You know, that, that's the kind of thing we really uh, like to hear, and it makes makes you think, hey, this is not just a job. You know, you don't just come in and uh, do a piece of road, and that's it. But it, it, it sometimes it moves people, and and it also moves you. Yeah, yeah I couldn't agree more, and uh, I mean. Myself and Oscar, we, we have something in common in terms of our, our jobs where we were originally working full time at the offices in Prague, where Oscar is now. Uh, but both of us are very much uh, remote working at, at the current time. And uh, obviously, we do kind of mi miss that office aspect from time to time. I think me and Oscar especially miss uh, the little sessions of, of, of pool championship we used to play uh, together in the, in, the, <laughs> in the kitchen. We have a couple of pool tables that are hey, around the offices. We're not supposed and, to uh, mention that. <laughs> I mean, you say that we've mentioned it before. Yeah. You know, we've... Okay. Yeah, we we spent a little bit too much time on that sometimes. I mean, it was a healthy amount of time to help mm -hmm. our brains, you know, rework mm -hmm. and you know get keep us in the zone and talk about ideas. So um, yeah, I mean, but, uh, definitely yeah. is. I mean, we we do discuss a lot uh, during the games, and it's really it's very productive. You know, it's just like having a meeting. But while playing pool, so it's, it's it's very productive. Yeah, it's very productive. It's very very productive. Definitely, <laughs> it's, it's great. So, um, but uh, yeah, honestly, it's 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 really a lot of fun, and uh, you know, it's great to hear that you're still kind of enjoying the job still today, and and, and you're involved in so much as well. And it, it it's it must be kind of almost weird to look back on on things from where you started and <laughs> yeah. where you are now. Like, can you see the progression? Yeah, I could. I mean. Yeah, back then when I was hired, I was, you know, I was not in this position. I was not doing licensing. Um, mm. You know, I was here just to, I, I don't really know what I was here for. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was supposed to talk to companies, get them interested in the game. Maybe they wanted to participate in it, mm. um, but not directly in licensing. You know, it's more, of, you know, uh, marketing, co-op, that kind of thing. Um, mm. So, so slowly, you know, I, I don't know how, but, um, yeah, I, I kind of took over licensing and, you know, I found the right fit, I guess. I, I, I really, I really liked it. Uh, you know, most people wouldn't, uh, you know, talking, <laughs> talking to, to random strangers, it's a bit scary, really, even through email. Um, but I, I kind of enjoyed it. I, Really, the end goal is, you know, to get interesting stuff in the game. And I play the game. I like the game. I want to see interesting stuff in the game. So being the person that could be a part of that, uh, that could play a huge role in that, I, I, I think it was awesome. I think, you know, um, it was very purposeful. Is that mm. cliche? Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit cliche, <laughs> maybe. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. Ah, that's really great to hear. Yeah, and it's uh, it's it's almost weird to look back on because, you know, we used to hang out a lot of the offices. Mm -hmm. We've got we've got a lot of memories back in the offices, and now we're kind of reminiscing about those days <laughs> and how times have changed. I mean, really, we've gone, and the company has gone through, yeah. through so much in the in the past uh, few years, 
And, um, you know, ultimately, it's great to see that the company is still growing and still uh, progressing forward with, with everything with a few little bumps in the road, but we're, we're still moving forward and mm -hmm. it gets bigger, which is, it must be weird for you being back at the offices. People have always said when they go back to the offices after being away for a while, it, it's yeah. just new faces everywhere, right? It's I mean, so strange. You probably feel the same. <laughs> yeah, I just walked around this floor. Now, yeah, we used to have one floor in the office right. building. Now we have like, what, one and a quarter, something like that. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it's so strange, you know, the, when I walk past where I thought people would be, they're gone, they're not there, uh, they've, been, they've been moved somewhere else, or they've been mm -hmm. moved to the new floor. I, there are so many new faces I don't recognize. Um, yeah, it's just strange, you know. Um, and I think with COVID, you know, how everyone started to working from home, so home office is a, uh, it's kind of a, thing now so mm. most of the time I think what two three days a week people will be working from home so even if you come into the office you don't get to see everyone so yeah it's kind of different from from when we were both here you know where we mm. would see every seat being filled and right yeah. every team being basically kind of crowded together sometimes uh, lively discussions uh, yeah, I think COVID has really changed the working environment a, a little bit. And and again, like I said, the new people, there's just so many new people. Um, we now have like this new trainee corner. I've never seen a trainee really? corner. Yeah. I've, I didn't even know that. I've not been to the offices <laughs> yeah. in a while, so I didn't even know about that. That's new to me. <laughs> yeah, so there was this, you know, we had this very large uh, relax area, relax zone kitchen area. Now, part of that has been converted into some kind of training centers for, for newbies. Mm. So, yeah, you know, it's it's so interesting to see the changes that, that has happened. And there are many more changes to come in the future as well. So There is. Mm. It's a very exciting future ahead indeed. Uh, but <laughs> it's also it must be a little bit, a bit scary at the yeah. same time. That's what know, happens but, uh, when you grow, you know. I think that's when happens, we were yeah. around, um, I remember... I was, I think, employee 130, something like that. Uh, you know your number? Yeah, I, I think I was that. 128 or something like that. How do you find out your number? Do you, <laughs> is there a way to find that out? I don't remember where, but I saw it. So I was like I the newest that. hire, and that was like 128 <laughs> or something like that. And, you know, um, now we have over 250 people. So that's wow. massive, right? I mean... Yeah, so it just is. so many people you don't know the names of, you don't really recognize, but you know, mm. still everyone's friendly. Everyone who walks past you just say ahoy to you, you know. Right, yeah. It doesn't matter uh. if they've seen you before or what, you know, everyone's just friendly. It's just a great environment mm. to be in. It's just positive, you know. That's great. That's really, really great to hear. And it must be a little almost a little bit weird for you being back at the offices, uh <laughs> you know, since it's been a, a little while. So, uh, but that's, that's really nice to hear. Um, I did, I did have a question actually that I was also going to ask uh, about the office space it's completely gone from my mind. So I'm sure <laughs> it will return shortly. This happens sometimes getting the old man brain a little bit, but <laughs> that's all right. That is all right. Well, we have, do have one big question that we always ask pretty much most guests, if not all guests now that we have uh, come onto the stream whether they're from our team or then one of our content creators or streamers or, you know, from VTCs or whatever. And this is quite a big question. Mm -hmm. so prepare yourself mentally oh, no. for this. Oh, you are no. sitting down already. So yep. but anyway, maybe you've thought about this in the past. Maybe you haven't. But uh, we'd be love to know if you could bring any feature or content to your heart's desire into your Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator, what would it be? Wow, that's a difficult question. It's a big question, hmm. right? Hmm. <laughs> you should have given me time to prepare for this. <laughs> I, thought, I probably it's should have told you before you the stream. Spring it on me like that. But then you said, you know, I'll just bring it on. It's so, one you know, big it's feature. Yeah. I mean, you know, it could be multiple. You could you could have a few if you want. But if yeah, if you have one, then great. But if not, maybe a few. <laughs> Wait, my my mind is actually blank right now. Um. <laughs> um can you give a hint? <laughs> give a hint? I mean, it's up to you. What do people usually say? <laughs> I mean, the community says a lot of things, but mm. uh, I mean, I don't know if there's anything that you've, you've 
really ever wanted to see in terms of how the game could be bigger or things yeah. that could be improved on or you know oh, i do actually like have something in mind i just thought of it. it um more more interesting parking challenges like i guess okay. more interesting depots would be would be one thing like silly deliveries where you have to back up into an alley that would be interesting okay. because you know you're not always backing up um in a huge yard or something so sometimes you have to make maybe supermarket deliveries in a in a day cab with a pup trailer let's say mm. uh into a tiny alleyway uh that would be cool maybe i think i would be interested to see how new york uh will be done in the game uh let's if we're talking about ats like new york city how are you going to recreate uh how congested and how tight the streets are uh, that will be interesting uh, to drive through there and do some deliveries. I've seen some trucking videos on YouTube, you know, in, in, in some places in, in Sweden, you can bring a huge uh, truck into an underground delivery bay. So that will be mm. interesting, right? You know, parking indoors, that would be so cool, you know, navigating around pillars and everything. I think that will mm. be interesting. Just something underground, something really tight and challenging um yeah so that's the first thought i had when you when you asked me that question okay no i mean that's a, that's a good one i like it i know there's obviously outside of our official uh, game and content that people have made modifications map add-ons that do have uh, kind of what you're describing but to have that officially in the game would also be cool some more unique kind of more difficult challenging uh parking spots which i'm not sure if darius and Nimiro would would potentially enjoy i don't know maybe they would be hitting the enter button a lot more to skip the parking but uh i know a lot of us uh would definitely enjoy that and uh, i mean we only have quite a few unique parking places within american truck simulator and your truck simulator to airports to to train yards but some i think it'll be really cool to see some real interesting ones that are very very difficult to give our kind of like more hardcore player base who are very skilled at the game a bit more of a challenge right mm -hmm. yeah something challenging something interesting um, you know, that reminds me, the most interesting one I found was the one that you could reverse onto a plane. Uh, right, yeah, where, that's Where huge. was that? I think Ut uh, Utah? Not Utah. No, no. Yeah, that one. Um, it's in uh, Denver? Is it in Denver? Yeah, Denver, no. Colorado. That one was... It's in Colorado. That that's one it. was really interesting. Um, not sure how realistic that is, <laughs> but, you know, it's cool. <laughs> it is very very cool yeah well thank you for your answer i know it's a big question so i had to, to prepare you uh, any other big that. questions so... <laughs> you know, any other... Get them all uh, out now. in the chat chat any big questions someone said look at your shirt you had the answer on your shirt the whole time but <laughs> okay but um <laughs> yes they did any any big questions for oscar before, before we keep moving on chat next truck when that's a, that soon. is a big question. Let's, soon let's talk about with a trademark, you know. <laughs> <laughs> SES soon. SES soon. what you soon. mean, right? Mm -hmm. SES soon. Uh, let's talk about pineapple pizza, Nimro says. Okay. Do you like pineapple pizza, Oscar? Um, I don't particularly like it, but I don't dislike it. And that's all we got time for, folks. Have a great rest of your day. I mean, energy. it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You can put whatever you want in a pizza. Let's 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 move on let's let's chat's gonna erupt in a war let's let's move on okay what does so, Nemiro say have... yes Nemo loves pineapple Nemiro pizza. likes caesar salad <laughs> that's what i found out <laughs> on the trip to the u.s with him <laughs> that's important to that's know. important that everyone he loves caesar salad caesar salad is is the thing all right well we're going to move on to our next uh, part of uh, the stream. If you're just joining us, welcome along. We're joined by uh, Oscar Lee, um, live from the offices in Prague, which is a very rare occurrence. Uh, he's the industry partnerships manager uh, for SES Software. Uh, if you've missed any of this, do not panic. It'll be available as a video on demand here on Twitch for the next 30 days and will also be uploaded in a short while in the next couple of days to our official YouTube channel as well. So you can always catch up uh, on the things you've missed. And we've covered a lot, so you won't want to miss out on that for sure. But coming up next, we've got, um, well, we have a bit of a quick question, which is not really quick questions. You don't have to answer it quickly. We just 
call it a quick questions round because the the questions are pretty short. So, uh, are you ready, Oscar? We're gonna we're gonna. So throw it's, these it's at a you. big question again. Uh, not really a big question, just short little questions. Okay. Short little questions. Are you ready? Okay. Um, do you prefer American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator Two? American Truck Simulator. Ooh. Yep. Any reason for that? Um, the roads are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the roads are bigger the speed the limits are, are higher there you go chat yeah. I mean and the turning right on on red nah I don't really I care about that. that do you not no I, I think no I think that's a big thing I think that that'd be great here in, in you know, I, Europe I, and I mean I always had the thought like how common is that in a in a truck like do you actually risk doing that in an 18 wheeler mm, maybe in a car I guess. yes um, yeah in a car but yeah, and I, I remember driving in, in in the US, and it was it always felt wrong, you know, <laughs> to do that. It's like, <laughs> it's can illegal. I really go like, even in New York City, like, can I do that? Is it different in each state, right? Or is no, it? No, I think I think that? it's legal as long as it doesn't say it's not allowed. You know, it's generally okay. allowed. If it's signposted, I got you. Yeah, signposted. Like a lot of places in New York City, I remember saying no 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 right on red or something mm, mm, mm. got you got you okay uh do you have a favorite truck do i have a favorite truck in which game yes either either game hmm i mean i play ats a lot now um mm -hmm. is it is it boring if i said my favorite truck was the cascadia like no, no, that's your favorite yeah, truck. That's your favorite, favorite truck. truck. That's yeah. not boring. No, not at all. Not at all. It, it has a bigger uh, screen. That's why I like it. <laughs> I like it. Do you have a favorite DLC content? Mm, favorite DLC. I think it must be Oregon. Mm, interesting. Why Oregon? Because of the coastal roads. They're, they're beautiful. Uh, I, I, I like, I like coastal roads. Um, Mm. yeah and and it was just different you know it, it felt very different uh from the rest of the states uh, i think mm. everyone would agree the first few dlcs for ats was mostly you know focused on this desert kind of areas of of the u.s mm -hmm. you know you've got new mexico you've got nevada uh so it's a bit dry it's a bit um orange <laughs> one would say so you know oregon was just green was just blue with the sea i think i think that's 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 quite a nice change it is and i i, is, I remember uh, anyway. driving in oregon you know on one of my business trips and and it was pretty accurate it was, it was oh, pretty wow. accurate i could recognize the the junctions that i've been in in the game it was that must be really it weird was, it was awesome <laughs> like uh, yeah it was it was really pretty and i think the game quite accurately captured some of that that's great that's really really cool to hear um do you prefer driving i think it's an easy one prefer driving with an interior or exterior camera interior camera <laughs> i thought so i, I, I think thought so. <laughs> the exterior camera is quite a challenge to drive with actually like oh, really? how, do you, okay. how do you actually see the front of the truck it's it's a bit mm. difficult you're always having to rotate around if you want to see the front of your truck right yeah so it's yeah. kind of awkward and mm. you can't really see the speedo i mean mm. you have a whole interior so <laughs> you drive from That's the inside yeah i like the inside it's it's pretty yeah absolutely i agree with you on that one um do you prefer to have an easy parking challenge or a hard parking challenge? Come on, do you, do you have to ask that? <laughs> I don't, but yeah. it's 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 written down, one. so I'm gonna ask it. Yeah, the hard one. <laughs> it's always the hard one. Like, you know, it makes you feel a sense of accomplishment if you <laughs> if you do something difficult. Absolutely. And if you fail, um, if you fail, you just suck and <laughs> just try again. <laughs> just go again. Just That's try how again. you learn. Yeah. That is how you learn. Um, now a bit of a random question for you. Uh, besides using the amenities, uh, what is the first thing you do every morning when you wake up? Do you have like a cup brush of tea my teeth, or do you you brush your teeth? <laughs> okay, that is the first thing that you do. Oh no, so wait, you don't even have I like a cup of, of tea. I think that's the first thing I do. Okay, mm. okay, yeah. If we're getting very, 
you get very technical. <laughs> First thing you do when you get out of bed is when you get out of bed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Brush your teeth. Do you have like, kind of like a little bit of a routine in the morning, would you say? Um, not really. I mean, you no. brush your teeth, you brush your teeth. <laughs> That's it. Mm. And you don't, do you have, do you have a breakfast really or not really? No, not really. It really depends. Um, I'm not really a very breakfast person. I'm more of a brunch person. Yeah. I agree with you though. Mm. Yeah. I'm a brunch person. Yeah. I, I usually find myself skipping breakfast, except I'm kind of I'm, usually I'm, I'm, when I'm traveling. I'm kind of lazy to make myself breakfast, so. Right, and I think that's why I have breakfast when I'm traveling because people are making breakfast. Oh, for I me love it! The, I love the it. The restaurants or whatever. The breakfast <laughs> at the hotel this morning, absolutely. Was it good? Absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's good. I've what had, did you have? I've had worse croissants in France. Really. Yeah. It's, wow, that's surprising I've to hear. I've had worse chocolatine in France. It's, oh, it's it's amazing. I, I don't know. It's it's not what I expected. It's just it's just great. I love breakfast. <laughs> that it's prepared great. for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a hot breakfast. Yeah, a hot is, breakfast. Is I, I mean, prefer, I'm yeah. not waking up and you know, cooking. That's so much work. And washing <laughs> up. Come on. Uh, yeah, in the morning when I'm barely no, half awake. Yeah, I'm barely uh, awake, man. <laughs> understandable understandable uh staying on the subject of food uh, our favorite subject here on the streams uh do you have a favorite food a uh, food like a meal or favorite food food item yeah hmm i like burgers i'm <laughs> burgers yeah i like okay. burgers i'm i'm a very simple guy <laughs> i like burgers it has a combination what? of everything it has meat it has mm -hmm. carbohydrates it has it has mm -hmm. cheese i love cheese um <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with a burger. What is the best burger you've ever had then? Do you, do you have somewhere up there you go, this is the best burger mm. I've had? I don't think I found a perfect burger yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. But is anything come close? Five Guys. I think Five Guys. Five Guys? Five Guys. Okay. It's, it's one of my favorites. I, I like going there, but not a lot of people like going there with me because, you know, the burgers are huge, it's greasy. <laughs> yeah, it's not what you would think of as a healthy meal. No, it's but it's an enjoyable meal. It's not even remotely healthy, that's the problem. It's, it's insanely it's unhealthy, so... But I also enjoy Five, five Guys burgers, so if you're, if, you're ever, if you're ever local, or if you ever cross paths, we'll definitely have to hit it up. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely go together, because uh, I, I enjoy that as well, but... I, you can get all the toppings you want there, and it's great. It's, yeah, uh, it's insane. You go for and all the fries, the and the fries, the Cajun fries, amazing. Mm, very good. They always give you so many fries as well. Like, yeah, they give you. If you so order much. a small, you get so much. I mean, I mean, you know, that's the way it is. They they just fill up the bag, and even though that's like a little cup inside, they fill up the bag so that you think, hey, that's good value. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, exactly. it works. We got someone. In the in the chat, Lance uh, Armstrong, great great username, saying you must try Shake Shack if you ha if you like Five Guys, and we've actually both had yeah. Shake Shack together. I've, when we're I in love um, Shake Shack Seattle. as well. Yeah, when we were in Seattle, we had it together. Yeah, we like to do Shake Shack as well. I would but... say I have Shake Shack every two three weeks. <laughs> do you actually? Yeah, wow. there are a lot of Shake Shacks okay. in Singapore, so it's great. Wow, okay. I, I like it too. It's a bit different from Five Guys. Um, it I is. I don't know. The whole concept is a bit different. But I, I like them equally. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's different. Well, the fries at Shake Shack aren't that good. That's all I they're have not, to yeah. say. They're, they're like the little um, crinkly fries, right? Almost yeah, like but weird. it's compressed. It's like made from uh, potatoes that are not like just cut. They feel like they've mm. been grounded up and then compressed back together. Mm. I don't know. It's like mashed potatoes, but in the, in the fries form. Gotcha, what gotcha. is that car doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh no. no. What is that <sighs> car doing? Okay, well, you know, know what we can hope for? What's that? AI cars that don't do that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's... the car was given away. I don't know what this truck is doing either. He's way over the yep. line. Just, just chilling there. Oh, gotcha. well. Well, I'm not used to the cars... brake pedal here, so I thought I was car. pressing it quite hard. And now they're going on red? Okay. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Wow, this is... Are the drivers mainly like is everyone going on red or okay? 
<laughs> that's happening. Why do we have that a night happening. bot that says Nemuro has crashed his truck 54 times? We have a counter for Nemuro crashing. Okay. <laughs> we do. We do. Is, we have a few that, other commands as well. Real? Yes, it is. It is. We did update it a while ago to have a bit of fun to oh, say well. million, but we put it back down. So. But, um, okay, moving on from food, do you have a favorite drink? It could be alcoholic or non alcoholic. Favorite drink? Yeah. Hmm. I think that would be a San Pellegrino Limonata. I'm guessing that's very fancy words for something lemonade. It's, yeah, it, it's a San Pellegrino Lemonade. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that before, have I? Don't think I've ever tried How it before. How have you can, not can you tried that before? What 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 is it? It's a, is it just a regular lemonade or no? Is it's it a special? fizzy lemonade. It's it's a, a fizzy mm -hmm. lemonade. It's amazing. Go try it. Ah. Is it available everywhere? Is it? Uh, do you think have yeah, it in the it's, UK? It, it's quite it's quite easily available, but surprisingly not in Italy. <laughs> mm. I don't know why, okay, but Italy. I thought it was from Italy. But when I went to Italy, it was quite hard to find. Fair. Interesting. Yeah, no, I've not, I don't think I've ever tried that before. I'll have to put that on my list. Um, in terms of music, do you have any kind of favorite bands or genre of music? Well, I'm the worst guy to ask about music. You know why? <laughs> I like classical music. I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember. I would walk into Oscar's part of the office and I'll just hear Mozart or Beethoven just I don't blasting. Play out which loud. Isn't a bad what do you thing. mean? I... Not out loud. From your headphones. Not yeah, from my headphones. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's not bad. I mean, I like classical music as well. Nothing, nothing against it. Got to respect the classics, you know. Yeah. Got to respect the classics. So, classical genre. You like yourself a bit of orchestras, and uh, you like a little bit of opera as well, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, operas. Right? And in fact, opera. I'm watching one on Saturday. Prague is really? one of the okay. best places for operas. Really, um, it's. I mean, they do a very authentic rendition of some operas and, you know, mm -hmm. the tickets are affordable, you get good views and, you know, the best thing out of all is Mozart actually performed in in one of the opera houses here. So wow. it's kind of cool, you know, it's, it, the place has history. history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. And, and B9 bot one in our chat saying, Oscar, classical music, music is great. Without it, there would be no music. That's very true. It's mm -hmm. kind of stemmed up kind of brought on a, a lot of inspiration for for many musicians uh even today which is really fantastic so i'm glad it still exists i enjoy it as well i mean it is great to listen to very calming at times and uh yeah where would we be without it all right do you have a favorite movie oscar that's another question favorite for you. movie movie yeah are you a big movie guy or not, not really a so very much, big so. movie guy i don't watch that hmm. many I mean, I can name some movies that I felt were great, like they were masterpieces, <laughs> but I wouldn't say I have a favorite movie. Okay, okay. Like, I think Interstellar was a masterpiece. A very good movie, yeah. Yeah, and Inception was a masterpiece as well. Mm -hmm. um, but they're not my favorites. I don't know. I, I'm not a big movie guy, so... It's like I, I just appreciate them. I wouldn't even say there are many f movies that I've watched that I would say they're terrible. You know, people mm. criticize, oh my God, people criticize <laughs> um, movies all the time. I don't know, when I'm just watching a movie, I, it's just fine. It's just entertainment. I, I don't really expect much from it, you know. Mm. Weird thing to say. Well Understandable. No, it's fine. Not, not everyone's, you know, all the same. Everyone's different. Oh, we got a train. Oh. Why is the brick pedal so <laughs> difficult to press? Ah, the sensitivity. It's so stiff. Must be not so good. Very stiff. All right, next question then. Um, I'm not sure how much you would consider yourself to be a gamer, but do you have Oh my God, I game? can't hear you. <laughs> I can't, you can't hear, hear you. Me? Hold on. Oh, okay, because the train's, the train's very loud. Very okay. loud. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. Oh. oh, okay. I can oh, hear you. Good. Okay, we're good. Do you have a favorite game that you've played? Would you consider yourself much as a gamer or not really so much? Um, favorite game other than ATS and ETS2? Other than ETS and ATS. I mean, l legitimately, <laughs> I mean, you say legitimately they are my favorite games. Okay, okay. Like, there are no other games that I've played so many hours on. 
really okay yeah but if you want me to list uh another game i played there i found excellent maybe the far mm -hmm. cry series i like that oh, not the newest okay. one that's 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 not that great but far mm. cry 4 was great far cry 5 was great far cry 3 was great yeah mm. good series good series and actually so keeping kind of on topic with kind of driving games, I know another one that you've played a little bit of, a, a few racing games as well mm -hmm. uh, in your library. Yeah. Assetto Corsa. Assetto Corsa. And a big topic as well, Formula One. Is mm -hmm. there also another one that you play as well? Yeah, I used and, to uh, play that. And, but, wow, I, I sweat so much playing Formula One. It's, it's insane <laughs> because it's really intense. You have to react really quickly. And yeah, it's just... it's, it's it's an exercise. It's a it's a workout. It's literally it a workout to play it on uh, on a wheel. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, when you play Oscar, though, you a lot of people will play with most of the default settings, yep. right? Where people will play with just all the assistants. On. You play with all assistants yep. off, right? No you go assists. Full manual. Full you manual. Go, no ABS. You're, you're no traction. Clutch. Everything. You just you're on it. Yep. I mean. Wow. Yeah, I, li I like the challenge. So, it's. Um, <laughs> It's almost impossible to get around Monaco without crashing, especially with all the assists off. But when you mm -hmm. get it right, it's amazing. When you get it right it in the rain, good. you feel like a god. <laughs> I love it. It's a good description. And uh, I know that you've also, well, you really enjoy your, your Formula One as well. You're quite an, an avid fan. Mm -hmm. We kind of we kind of put like a little live notification of asking people what uh oscar's favorite team is but you don't really have a favorite team. no do i don't have a favorite team I, I i don't know i just like watching it um i just enjoy it when you see someone other than the top three teams uh <laughs> doing well like in maybe getting fourth or fifth that's more interesting to me than seeing red bull win or ferrari win or mercedes winning that's i mean that's kind of expected isn't it I, I just want to be there and look at the unexpected results and kind of experience that. Yeah, I know it's a lot of fun. Myself being also uh, an enjoyer of F1, I kind of still watch it uh, weekly when it's on, obviously, as well. I, yeah, it's been a it's been an interesting season so far. Mm -hmm. I've got to say that for sure. Uh, lots of uh, upset, a few incidents, yeah. and um, but overall, a lot of the results coming out. Uh, pretty much as expected mm -hmm. and uh yeah i mean it's, it's been interesting I, so far i but, think uh, I, i'm sure we could talk for hours you know we <laughs> you ask me what my favorite movie is i have no idea you ask me what my favorite f1 race is easy hungary 2021 Hun and what makes that one so special if for people that don't know well you know Esteban Ocon won, and you know it's just interesting seeing Fernando Alonso, you know, defend against Lewis Hamilton like that. It's that's mm -hmm. my favorite race so far. You really love it. That's awesome. That's really really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of energy and excitement and drama. To those people who kind of look from the outside and go, oh, it's just racing. There's a lot more to it. Trust me. And I think maybe a, a kind of good introduction to that would be uh, the Netflix series Drive to Survive, even though they might that's a bit, overdo that's a, it a little bit. A, bit over, a little bit more dramatic, yeah. but a little bit. It is a little bit over dramatic, but it does give it a good insight into what, what happens in the F1 as well. So, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, think, and that's why I think that series has really brought a lot of people into uh, watching have, F1. Yeah. I mean, for good yes. and bad reasons. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't as dramatic as, as they made it out to be, but... Yeah, it's quite an interesting show. I only watched the first season I, because, you know, we watch F1. We kind of know how yeah, yeah. it really is. So we are like, it is, yeah. that's too much. So I, I couldn't really appreciate it. But I get why mm. people would like it. Uh, and, and it's really a good introduction to everything that goes on uh, behind, right, yeah, it's a nice behind F1. You know, for, for me, I, I'll spend a lot of time browsing like the formula one subreddit you know mm -hmm. uh on my free time in my free time so I, I catch up with all the news i i i know the rumors and whatever drama you know so i know <laughs> what's real and what's not on that show right yeah yeah, yeah. You, you know behind it exactly yeah so now i understand but um a lot of people are now asking questions in the chat about <laughs> different strategies that have been happening with opinions for example, Ferrari on Ferrari's latest Redford strategies everything. what do you mean strategies <laughs> they have one 
dishing out dishing out the, the yeah the i mean it, it's hilarious good Holiday, it's a good it thing is. i don't have ferrari as my favorite team you know i don't have a favorite team so i don't really care if they screw it up but <laughs> they screwed it up many times it's hilarious it's not just been one time it's been a few it's times hilarious. it has it's I don't know how it keeps happening. I, 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 don't, I really don't. But hey, here we are. But uh, yeah, interesting race. But we'll, we'll move on from that subject because otherwise, trust me, me and Oscar will happily chat about it for hours. But uh, we don't have the time for that, unfortunately. Time is, is moving quickly with us here. Um, this is probably going to be another very easy question, I imagine. Um, do you prefer console or, or PC? PC. I've yeah. never really had a console. Um, mm. I, I enjoy building PCs as well, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, I always like PC games. But I'll admit, I, I play games, PC games, with an Xbox controller sometimes. I do that too. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I do it a lot of the times when I'm driving in ETS2 or ATS, which is most of the time when I can't be bothered to set up the wheel. Yeah. Maybe I'm a little bit lazy to unplug a few things, and so I usually use the Xbox yeah. controller for that, and it, it works just I, I as know great, especially people, with the latest updates. A lot so. of people are going to give us hate for using controllers, you know, when you're on a PC, you're supposed to use WASD and a mouse, but I don't even use WASD. I use the arrow keys. Oh, yeah. yeah. I use the you arrow You have the options for that too. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But yeah. I still prefer the controller. But it's, I've, always been, I've always been a PC guy. Um, mm. I don't know. I, I just like the idea of being able to upgrade it. And, mm -hmm. and also, you know, you get better quality from, from a PC. If you spend yeah. spend a little bit more money, obviously it's mm. not as simple as a console. You know, it's plug and play, and you can, you can bring it anywhere. Um, but I always either had a laptop that I can game on, or you know, just my desktop that I built myself. So, so it's mm. it's more fun that way, I think. Okay, and well, the last question we've already actually covered. So I'm going to come up with my own question on the spot here. Uh, if you could give one piece of advice for a new driver in our game what would it be don't speed <laughs> don't speed don't speed it, it's, not a racing the laws. Game. it's not a racing game unless you're on the autobahn don't, <laughs> don't speed. yeah i mean just just enjoy the scenery there's so much mm. scenery so many cool cargos try a special transport mission you know that's really mm. cool i think um yeah just don't drive like a maniac <laughs> or maybe if you want to drive like a maniac do it with your friends that's kind of fun too yeah. i think <laughs> in convoy mode right in convoy which mode, is, yeah uh, it was a lot of fun exactly but respect the respect the rules mode. of the server exactly yeah make sure if you're going to do that sort of stuff create your own server don't ruin other drivers days who are maybe trying to do it properly on, on other servers as well respect the rules of the servers there so absolutely could not agree with you more i've actually got um I saw the message. Uh, Big Daddy Lugnut in the chat. I had the pleasure of meeting Oscar at Truck World in April. Super nice guy to talk to there. Yeah. So it's coming from Big Daddy Lugnut. So he's happy to see you again in the studio. <laughs> it was such a great time, you know, we had we had there. It's, we got to meet so many of our fans. Such mm -hmm. a great chat with all of them. Mm -hmm. It was an awesome trip. It was my first time in Canada as well. <laughs> mm. You know, brought back some maple syrup, like, <laughs> like an amateur. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was I gotta say, I, I do miss that though. Like getting to some of the game events, we haven't been able to yeah. obviously attend many of them and, and industry stuff like that for a while, and now it's starting to slowly pick back up again. Yeah. And uh, I think you can agree with that as well, right? Meeting the community is always kind of the best part yeah, of the job. It's it's awesome, you know. You just spend hours and hours talking to people about the game, mm. you know, seeing how people are so excited about it, and seeing, especially seeing people, you know. Uh, start their whole career in truck driving because of the game it's it's right. just it's just crazy it's uh you know to to know that that it's not just a job that you do it's uh apparently it's inspiring people to make some pretty big changes and decisions in their life so yeah it's mm. it's pretty awesome to speak to all these people um yeah, and, and to find out more about them, and it's not you know to us when we when we hear how many people playing our games, like oh yeah, it's in the millions, but you know it's a number, you know. But when you actually meet some of these people, you hear their stories, you hear how they got into the game, 
and you, you, you remember that, hey, these are individuals who chose to play the game, who enjoyed the game so much that they went out there to take mm. it up as a job. So it's, it's really cool. It really is. And we love, we love hearing the stories like that. It's always an inspiration to meet members of our community and players and others who have been, a, you know, had been influenced by our game in, in one way or another, whether that be their retired truckers or their new truckers or people who have just wanted to able to travel that maybe can't, you know, there's so many different applications that a game has provided for, for people. And that's why we say you, you play the game, how you enjoy it and how, how you love it, because that's, what's important, you know, whether it's just driving on the open road or doing customizing or looking at the latest trucks, you know, whatever kind of your favorite thing to do is um, you, you do that because that's it's enjoyable for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows what can happen in the future. All right. Well, time is quickly run out for us here. We're about to hit up our last job here yep. uh, in the industry. So we still got a little bit light left in the game. Still, Luckily, yeah, it seems like yeah, that. It's, it's going to be dark soon. It's going to be dark soon. So I'd say you are got to get that trailer parked up pretty quickly here before the light disappears. Uh, but this is that easy. I mean, there's so much space here. There we go. Chat, you heard it here. It's easy. It's easy. Okay. Let, let's hope that doesn't backfire. Let's hope not. Oh. It's looking good. Well, nope, it's not lined up. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more yeah, of an angle yeah, here. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more of an angle. I keep forgetting how moving. long these trailers are. It's When you keep switching between your truck and American <sighs> truck, you can easily forget how much longer the yeah, trucks why? are, especially with the nose and the trailer included yeah it's uh, it's massive it is and it's so and even more so and it's so life. strange that you know only the u.s and i, I guess only north america uses 53 feet uh trailers mm. you, and even containers you don't you don't see them in in europe or anything you don't but uh i know america obviously is one of the, the countries that really heavily rely on on truck drivers yep. and that you know their, their train network it is there, but it's not as strong as, as many other countries yeah. uh, as well. So um, and obviously flying stuff around the country is also very expensive. So uh, truck drivers really are are kind of like needed. And uh, I imagine the bigger, the better for them if they can get more cargo in. All right, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Good little park there. Good stuff. Well, Oscar, it's been an absolute pleasure having you back uh, at the offices uh, I say here in Prague, but I'm not in Prague, but they're in Prague in the Czech Republic. And we thank you uh, for your time uh, this evening, taking the time out of your, your journey to, to Prague and, and then onwards to IAA to, to be with us on stream, to catch up with you a little bit. And uh, it's been really, really a lot of fun. And chat, I can only hope that you've enjoyed yourself as well. Uh, before we disappear, though, Oscar, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the community? You know, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining in the stream. And, you know, it's it's been a pleasure. Uh, I hope to get more licenses into the game and, you know, get more interesting <laughs> stuff. I'm sure there are more trucks coming this year. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all he's going to say. Oh, I like it. I yeah. like the little tees. I like it. Good stuff. Uh, well, chat, again, thank you so much. If you've missed out on the stream, you want to catch up, it'll be available on our YouTube channel in just a couple of days. Or you can watch it instantly again after here on twitch.tv slash Software. The VOD is available for the next 30 days. So thank you for being here. Massive thank you to Nimir and Darius for moderating the chat. And of course, to Philip behind the scenes in our production studio for making us go live and making everything work and, and, and seamless as well. So thank you, uh, Philip, and to all of you. We'll be back again in the future with more streams, of course. But, but first, before we disappear, we're going to do our tradition of raiding someone. It's where we take all of you lovely people here on the Twitch chat who are watching, and we're going to send you to another stream who's streaming American Truck Simulator or your Truck Simulator 2. Do we have any recommendations, Darius? I'm not sure if you've thought of anyone in advance, if you've already kind of got a pick of somebody that's streaming that we can we can quickly raid. If not, I can very quickly uh, jump over and find someone. You've got somebody? Sneaky Panoy. Have a look at them real quick. I got it. Good stuff. Let's do it. A raid sneaky panoy there you go so chat if you've not joined us for a raid it's where we take all of you lovely viewers and we take you to a streamer who's streaming right now maybe they're new maybe they're you know maybe they're a veteran uh but make sure to represent yourselves give a massive ses love and raid and hello from all of us 
and uh, to behave yourselves as well. Of course, the most important thing. You represent the best community ever. That's what you do. So from all of us here at SES Software, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and we will catch you again all very, very soon. Until then, keep on trucking and take care. See you, everyone. Bye.